Hello, my dear students. Once again, this is English class with Mom Cleo. Last time, we talked about common and proper nouns and the many rules of capitalization. Today, we'll be talking about another kind of noun. But before that, check out these pictures. Let's see if you can figure out our lesson. This first picture is a group of actors. This second one is a group of wolves. This one is a group of zebras. This last one is a bouquet of flowers. As you may have guessed, today we'll be talking about collective nouns. Let's take a look at our learning targets. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify and use collective nouns correctly and use collective nouns in singular and plural form. What exactly is a collective noun? A collective noun is a noun that names a group of persons, animals, or things that belong in a unit. For example, what is your favorite basketball team? The word team is a collective noun because it refers to a group of persons working together in an activity. The choir of believers sang praises to the Lord. The word choir is a collective noun because it refers to a group of singers. The Stefti dance crew wowed us with their performance. The word crew is a collective noun because it refers to an organized group of dancers. These are just examples of collective nouns that refer to groups of people. This time, take a look at these collective nouns that are used to refer to different groups of animals. The pack of wolves followed Kristoff and Sven's sled. The word pack is a collective noun that refers to a group of wolves. It can also be used to refer to a group of dogs. Nala asked Simba to return to the pride. Pride is a collective noun specifically used to refer to a group of lions. Ladybug's swarm of butterflies quickly fixed the damage. Swarm is a collective noun that can be used to describe a group of flying insects such as bees or wasps. As I've said, collective nouns are also things that belong to a unit. Here are some examples. The general ordered the fleet of ships to sail towards enemy waters. Fleet is a collective noun that describes a group of warships. MJ shuffled the deck of cards. Deck is a collective noun that describes a group of cards. Adrian handed Mari a bouquet for winning the competition. Bouquet is a collective noun that is used to refer to a group of flowers. The problem with collective nouns is that they may be used with a singular verb or a plural verb. When we refer to a group acting together as one unit, the collective noun is used with the S form of the verb. As you read the following examples, notice that all members of the collective noun are doing the same thing at the same time. The herd heads for the barn. The team is vying for the championship. Today, Doctora Adolfo's class takes its first 100-item exam. But when we refer to individuals in the group acting separately, the collective noun is used with the base form of the verb. As you read these examples, notice that the members of the collective noun are not acting in unison. The team compete for captain. After the three-hour practice under the brutal sun, the team shower and head home. With the exams over, the class start their research papers on famous mathematicians. To recap, today we learned about collective nouns and how to determine their singular and plural form. Let's practice what we've learned today by answering this short exercise. Grab a piece of paper and something to write with. Pause the video after the slide, then read the directions of the exercise. Continue watching the video to check your answers. Awesome job finishing this video! 
don't forget to check your Schoology account for activities about today's lesson. Once again, this has been English Class with Ma'am Claire.